It is now 23rd of February 2020 and if you open the news everything is about the coronavirus. So this flu outbreak started in China and the Wuhan, Wuhan region and it's uh, very bad for those infected and those living in those areas but we also start to notice the uh, supply line issues we have as Western companies. So almost everything is nowadays made in China. Um, and with the Chinese New Year, which was a three-week closure and then the ensuing closure by the Chinese government till the 1st of March, a lot of people, uh, a lot of companies are running out of stock of their cheap and simple parts or also their more complicated parts. So back in the day, I used to do a lot of 3D printing and my business model was I want to be cheaper in the region that sits between injection molding and making by hand. So. If you make something like 50, uh, you can make them by hand. If you need to make a thousand, it's really expensive, but you can't afford an injection mold tooling yet. And with 3D printing, I was in the sweet zone and I could offer these parts to companies. So now with the coronavirus, I see a renewed interest. And I even got a 14 and a half thousand piece 3D print order of this simple plastic part. Uh, and that's possible with a 3D printer. So I am now using a brand new Ender 5. It's been doing great. I got it out of the box, installed, and it's been printing non-stop. And I've been printing 7,500 pieces without a single part reject. Um, so for all those companies that are having problems with their supply lines, um, yeah, you can take a look at this at 3D printing. It's, uh, it's amazing what we can do. You know, this is just the attic of my house. Um, and it might solve some problems for you. Uh, so thank you for watching. I usually do uh, CNC and knife making videos and we'll be back with knife making videos soon.